Okay, well, it's uh, September the 22nd, and uh, I snuck over here to this area that I'm at, and as you can see, I've got a big alfalfa field right here, and I got a big Milo field right here. And I know from last year and just years past on some of the Kansas farms, when there's Milo involved on these farms, that's just where the deer are. I don't know what it is that they love so much about Milo, but they just absolutely annihilate it. So I came over here a couple weeks ago and there is a scrape line just massacred along the top edge of this Milo field. And down the bottom, there's another Milo field and it's just massacred as well. So I put a couple cameras up um, on these scrapes and Longhorn's just been hitting them like crazy. He's moved up into here, nothing during the day, but about an hour after daylight, two hours after daylight, almost every single day. So what I did is I came in here and I got a stand hung, but I didn't get it quite as high as I wanted to. My sticks didn't get me as quite as high as I wanted. So I came in here today. I'm gonna try to get it up a little bit higher. I'm gonna check the camera, see if he's still here. And uh, hopefully next week when this cold front comes in, we can get him killed. But uh, while I'm doing that, we're going to go to September the 1st and uh, show you guys what we saw opening day. And uh, then I can't remember what day it was, but a couple, a week after that or so, we filmed Ryan on one of our green cover seed food plots. So we're gonna check out some of that footage. I tell you, first time out, you forget everything. We got a thermosel, we got a water bottle sitting on the table. <laughs> Oh. Well, um, Ryan and I just got ready here. We're, uh, like I said, the stand's just right over here. Uh, we gotta cross the river to get there, but you know, Ryan and I are both talking and I feel like we've both just been so blessed this year um, to be able to even have the opportunity to do this. You know, him and I have become great friends over time, over the last year and um, really look forward to this season and, and just having Dream Chasers be back. I mean, it just, I feel like I'm in the right spot and we're just gonna have an awesome season, I really do. But um, we both said to kick this season off, we wanna start with a prayer. And uh, Ryan has a prayer that he says every time before he goes out. Um, something that his dad and him started together when he was young. So he's going to lead us, lead the season off with a prayer here, and we're going to see if uh, we can't put a big boy down today. If not, we got an awesome season ahead. And dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the many blessings you've given us. We thank you for each other, for our friends and our family. We thank you for the animals we're about to pursue, and we just Thank, are so thankful for this opportunity to go hunting and do what we enjoy. We thank you for being able to live in a country where we're allowed to do so. It's that day we've been waiting for. We've prepared all summer, lots of hard work, sweat, dreams, and hope. And here we are on opening day, Lord. We just ask that you would be with us, watch over and protect us. Help us to get in and out safely. I ask that you would be with us as we hunt. We pray that if we're given the opportunity to take a buck, that you would guide our arrow, help us to be accurate so that we might get a quick, clean kill on our animal. Thank you for all your creation and thank you for giving this chance to go out and see your creation. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, bud. Yeah. Let's do it. How about kill me? See anything while I was gone? <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Got to the tree, forgot 
the uh, strap for the camera arm. And while I was part way back, Ryan doesn't know yet, I realized oh, I'm a rangefinder. So that's nice. But uh, luckily, nothing in here is that far. So we should be alright. Should be a good night. Just, you know, smiles all around. <laughs> settled in. It's been an interesting evening. Better strap this back on. I took it off to put my binoculars on. <laughs> uh, it's been an interesting evening already. We forgot a few things, but that's hunting. It's a first day of hunting for you. We are in. We are settled in. I gotta get my release on still, but uh, other than that, we're ready to go. Longhorn's been in here several times in the last 10 days. So I'm hoping tonight is one of those times that he's back in here. But we're, we'll see. We're going to enjoy ourselves anyway. It just feels awesome to be in a tree. And it feels great to have Ryan here with me. And I've worked hard all year getting everything ready to go. And I'm just excited. It's going to be a fun year, guys. It's going to be a fun year. We're excited to show you our year as it happens. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to put some big deer on the ground for you guys to see. starting to wind down a little bit. We had such a fun night. We didn't really see any bucks at all, but just so many does and just deer fawns, just so many deer, period. We're in here tonight. I don't know how many deer ended up going out to the beans, but the train just went by. It's going by right now. And it looked like there was, what? It looked like there's 30 of them out there. I don't know. I guess we got deer coming right here.
almost everything was on edge tonight. The wind just was marginal. Uh, it's just dead calm, I think. Our scent's just kind of floating out there and swirling around. So everything was kind of on edge. And they leave the field to come back. Leave and come back. But everything's quiet now. We're just happy to be out here. Starshine lights my way to bed Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in wonderland All my dreams are coming true